So this is a quick little video here. I've got one of our silicone socks, and this will work for any silicone sock, whether it's this style or another one for a different heater block. Now, some people do not like having these tight enclosed nozzle gaps on their hot end sock, and I'm one of them. So what I'll do when I get socks that are like this, I will take my flush cutters here and just trim it so it removes it. And just like that, you have a nice open hole. So the benefit of doing this is you can actually change the nozzle without having to take the sock off. Also, some nozzles will stick out further than others, which may make the sock not seat correctly on the heater block. If you have an issue with the hot end heater block causing the sock to pop off, I would definitely recommend trimming this out so you're just left with a nice opening here. And again, this will work with our socks and any other socks that have a more enclosed area around the nozzle. So I hope this easy tip helps you guys out, and I'll see you guys on the next one.